Hi everybody, my name's Scott and welcome to my channel, Trauma Team Racing. Today we're going to be embarking on another technical instructional video on how to set up triple monitors effectively, but this time we're heading to sunny Mexico and we're doing it for Forza Horizon 5. Now Forza Horizon 5 doesn't strictly speaking completely facilitate the use of triple monitors, but there is a way to optimize it, so it's running pretty well. If you find this content useful, please hit the subscribe button, and if you like it, please hit the like button. So, without further ado, roll the intro. Now, as always, we're going to break things down into several sections. Now, firstly, in the first section, we're going to look at how to set up things with NVIDIA Surround. Now, there isn't really a way to do this without NVIDIA Surround. Now, I'm running Forza Horizon 5 through Game Pass, and usually you could do um, you could use SRWE, the simple um, Windows Runtime Editor, to trick it into thinking you've got a big monitor. But for some reason, Game Pass just doesn't allow it. It might work with Steam, but I haven't tried that because I'm not paying for it twice. In the second section, we're going to look at how to set up the correct field of view and also measure your monitor angle. Now, in this section, I want you to pay particular attention to your vertical field of view because you're going to need that when you're tweaking things in Forza Horizon 5. Then in the third section, we're going to look at how to measure your monitors. And then finally, we're going to look at how to input all of that data into Forza Horizon 5 so we can get razzing around Mexico. Let's get going. Now, just to make you aware, there will be some repetition from my other triple screen setup videos, as I wanted all of these instructional videos to be a one-stop shop. So if you don't need a section, please skip ahead using the chapter markers below. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. As far as I'm aware, using Surround is the only way to get Forza running when using Game Pass. You might be able to use simple Windows Runtime Editor if you have a Steam version. We use this in my ACC triple setup video, and I will leave a link just above if you wish to see how to use that particular piece of software. First, you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the Setup Surround window, and at this point, you must note the order of your screens. Here, they are displayed in large white numbers. Working from left to right, they are numbered 2, 3, and 1. Now click Enable Surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point, drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before, 2, 3, and 1. Now click Apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again and then Surround with Bezel Corrected Resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here, you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aim for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. The one of particular importance for Forza Horizon 5 is the vertical field of view. Make a note of this now. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor, the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. 
And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up is relatively easy and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width. Finally, we want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. How to optimize Forza Horizon 5 for triple monitors. As I have said before, Forza Horizon 5 does not officially support triple monitors, but there are a few things we can do to optimize it so it's actually running pretty awesomely. First thing you need to do is boot up the game and hit escape to get to the main menu. From here you want to click on the settings button and then click on the video tab. Here we want to make sure our resolution is set to our surround resolution, in my case 7768 by 1440. This will force Forza to span the screens. Now within this menu, scroll down to Driver Cam FOV and Dashboard Cam FOV. Now, please note here, this is not horizontal field of view, this is the vertical field of view. So jacking things up to maximum will actually make things look zoomed out and distorted. My calculated vertical field of view should be 36 and Forza allows me to drop this to 40, which does improve things. As you can see in this example, I think the field of view is actually pretty good, all things considered. Now you want to hit escape, make sure you save it when prompted, and then head back to the HUD and gameplay tab. Now you want to scroll down here and look for HUD safe frame horizontal and jack it out to maximum. What this is going to do is bring your map and speedometer onto your center screen instead of being unusable on the periphery of your left and right monitor. Once you've done this, hit escape, save when prompted, and head back into the game. So, if all things have gone well, your single screen adventures in Mexico should now have transformed from this into triple screen chaos. So hopefully, Forza Horizon 5 is now singing sweetly with your triple monitor setup and it's now increasing that immersive factor as you're bopping around Mexico in your favorite vehicle. If this is your first time on my channel, please hit that subscribe button if you found this useful and please hit the like button. Um, I would make a note that if you do need further instructional videos for triple screen setups, I've also done them for Automobilista 2, a set of Corsa Competizione and iRacing, and I'll leave them in the linky thing at the end of the video. So, as always, thank you for watching, good night, good evening, good morning, see you in the next one.